I'm going to show you what Captain Plugins is and how to use it to create amazing ideas really quickly. Hey guys, it's Will from EDM Tips where each week I help you seriously up your music production game. So if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, you won't miss a video. So Mixed and Key have just released Captain Plugins 4.0 and this is my first impartial review of it. I don't get any commission from Mixed and Key and this is the first time I've actually opened it up. So in this video we will cover Captain Chords, the brand new Captain Beat, Captain Melody, Captain Play and Captain Deep. Now you can actually get 30% off the price of Captain Plugins 4.0 when you join any of my courses, some of which have helped my students hit number two in the Beatport charts and even be entered for a Grammy nomination. So don't forget to check that out. I will put a link to my courses below this video. So without further ado, let's hop into my door and get it done. Okay, so step one is to load in each of the separate Captain Plugins plugins. So we've got Captain Beat, Captain Chords, Captain Deep, should be called Captain Bass, Captain Melody and Captain Play. So I've just created another channel for each of these plugins in my door. I'm using Ableton 10, but these plugins work in, I'm pretty sure, any door. So the, we're just going to go through them in order. So step one, we are going to look at Captain Beat. And this is brand new for, I think it's brand new for Captain Plugins 4.0, which is just been released right now. So uh, let's open it up, see what's going on. Okay, so it just, it's like a little drum machine, basically. Um, so it syncs to the tempo of the track, obviously. Okay, so there are some default sounds loaded in for these other plugins. So I'm, I'm just gonna turn these off for the time being and we're just gonna concentrate on Captain Beat. So uh, there looks to be like lots of different patterns that are available. So, um, you know, they're not the best mixed obviously but I consider this more as something to use to quickly get down a beat, you know. I'd probably just as quickly chuck in a, a sample loop from a sample pack as use this. That's my first impression. Um, but obviously you've got more control over this, so you can... You've got a filter. It's kind of cool. Um, and I believe there is some kind of shuffle as well that you can control. I'm not sure where the shuffle control is, but as with the other plugins, you've got the different sections of the track, which I really like because then for the pre-chorus, um, you could load in a different drum loop and it's very quickly to, uh, it's very easy, sorry, to quickly switch between the, the song sections. Um, so let's see where this shuffle is. We've got, oh, okay, drum kit. This would be the different actual sounds. Wow, they've got a lot actually. So we've got the classic 909, Kit. Okay, all right, so there's actually a lot more flexibility in this than I first thought in terms of the um, sounds that you can use. It looks like this would be, uh, okay, you, yeah, so there's a lot more control than just using a sample loop, basically. you got a bit of reverb. Obviously that sounds way too much. I would really like to see where the um, shuffle control is. There must be one in here somewhere. And to be honest, it should be a lot easier to find. You know, I would expect it here or something like that. So yeah, that's, that's a bit disappointing, but looks like we can drag out the sounds into our door as well and edit them further as well. Yep, standard, so that's cool. And then of course you could add your shuffle from, if you're using Ableton, but again with uh, Logic and FL Studio, this is the same. You know, you, you've got your shuffle controls there. So in this instance, we just load one in to our swing pool and then, and then we've got our control there for the shuffle. Okay, so that is Captain Beat in a nutshell. Now on to Captain Chords, which is the most complex and the most um, in-depth in terms of controls. And it's kind of like the master one. It controls all the other ones. So this is the best one in terms of writing music to set up first. So let's 
keep well we'll cap, keep Captain Beat on and now let's listen to Captain Chords. We'll not we'll open this up and let's have a look. So this is the same as the other versions as well. Of course, you choose whichever key that you want to work in, whichever scale, which is really nice and simple. I'm going to use A minor, keep it simple. And then you can select the chord progression or you can build one from scratch. So I'm just going to go in here and select one. I'm going to preview them just by clicking on them once. So that's cool. I will load that in. So these are the standard chord progression that we've just loaded in, in A minor. But you can see that we can actually edit each chord separately here and we can kind of change them around to yeah, have different chord qualities. Which is cool because just playing with these buttons allows you to kind of experiment and come up with chords that you probably wouldn't have thought to to kind of put in even if you know music theory as I do I'll often kind of gravitate towards similar chords that I know um, or that I'm used to playing so this is a nice way to completely kind of change things up a bit and then you can use these inversions to change the order of which order sorry, the order of which octave each note's in, and then this flavor to, you know, use sevenths or ninths, which is really cool. If you haven't watched my video about chord progressions and sevenths and ninths yet, click the link below this video, and it's in the cards as well, so you can check that out. But uh, let's have a listen to what effect it has. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm actually going to make this into a bit of a deep house track because of those chords. Um, I, I'm kind of digging those. So I'm going to slow it down a touch, the tempo. Obviously, it's all in sync. The cool thing is about this that you can just completely change the key you're working in by a, a flick of a switch up here. You know, I'll change it to G flat blues major. That's nice. I'm not like a big fan of these drums, but I think it's largely due to the uh, relative levels, like the kick's not kicking through enough or anything like that. But what I'm going to do, just to make it all gel, I'm going to group these other plugins, the kind of musical ones. They're all Captain chords, uh, sorry, Captain plugins. Um, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a sidechain uh, dip using Steve Duda's LFO tool, just to help them kind of gel in with the drums a bit. Cool, and I'm just going to change the sound as well because although you can use the sounds within these plugins, you can also just play other plugins using the MIDI from these. So you can assign the, the MIDI notes from Captain Chords to, say, a Serum or a Silent, which is nice. I mean, that was the same in the earlier versions as well. Um, but I'm just going to choose one of the internal sounds here. So... And you've got a bit of reverb. Oh, sorry, the space is like legato, so the space in between the different notes. It's almost like a sustain control. And I'm going to have them sustained all the way through. You've got filter, reverb. So it's a really nice way to quickly come up with a chord progression. Before we go any further, let me know what you think so far. Drop me a comment below. Are using these plugins cheating, do you think? Or is this something that you consider in your own workflow? Again, drop me a comment below and I will reply. Then we're going to go on to Captain Deep. Again, I don't know why they haven't called it Captain Bass. It irks me. But um, anyway, that's by the by. So Captain Deep, we are going to open up. We're going to press Connect. So this will now be in the same key and the same scale as the chords. So that's what I was talking about, a bit the chords one kind of being like the master controller. You can open up deep first and put the chords to that, but I just like to get the chords first. Um, so this is what it defaults to. It's 
So it's in the right key. Sounds a bit weird to me. So I'm gonna first. I'm gonna choose a different rhythm. Um, let's see. Every offbeat. So there are all these different rhythms, and I forgot to show you this in Captain Chords as well. In fact, I'll just show you that really quickly in Captain Chords. Turn off deep. You can choose the timing. You've got all these different um, patterns. Ah, uh, here we go, chord rhythms. It's a bit hard to hear because of the... That's easier to hear now I've turned the reverb off. So yeah, you've got all these different chord rhythms to play with. You don't just have to have it completely basic, but I prefer the other one, so I'm just going to undo and have them sustained. Make sure my legato is right up. Back to deep. Okay, right. So first we are going to choose a nice rhythm for the for the bass. I kind of like the sound. You can control the volume here as well. And now you've got this pause audio when closed in ca uh, Captain Plugins 4 as well. So you don't have to have the plugin window open for the sound to play as you did in the other versions. It now plays even when it's closed. I don't like that second note though. That sounds wrong. Um, so let's see how we can change that. There doesn't seem to be much um, MIDI editing is coming soon, so you still can't edit the MIDI within Captain Plugins. You have to drag it into your door, and you can do that using this little icon here, um, and then you can edit it. And I would because there doesn't seem to be much control here for getting an interesting shape, so I would do this. So if you want it to play from the door and in, instead of the pattern that you've got in in Captain Deep, then you've got to choose this MIDI and selection and then it's going to play your tweaked version. So it would have been nice to have been able to edit that within Captain Deep. Because obviously my bass line is way better. Next we are going to go into Captain Melody and that works in a very similar way to the other two really. You open it up, connect to Captain Chords to see your melody in context with the chord progression. And this is all in the same key as well. So let's let's see what happens when we use this. Now Deep has gone back to playing it from the plugin, so I'll just do that. So you can change how you want the melody to leap. Oh, I like this a lot. And you can actually shift the MIDI in this one. So um, that's really cool. I like that you can change the amount of steps steps and stepwise or leapwise and the rhythm you know you could have it really dense this is probably my favorite feature actually this captain melody so far 
So again, I haven't actually kind of used this before. This is my first time opening it. So a lot of this is me kind of muddling through, but you can hear how you can get pretty cool results uh, pretty quickly from scratch. So after we've used chords, deep, melody, now we're gonna go on to Captain Play, which is kind of a, an ad lib tool, if you will. So I'm gonna ad lib a melody, so I'm just gonna silence the melody at the moment and just use play. And you can use this with a MIDI keyboard or with your uh, computer keyboard. So I'm gonna use it with my computer keyboard. And there are two modes, there's chords modes and there's play melodies, so every note I'm hitting on my keyboard. And I'm gonna make a video of each of these Captain plugins separately as well, where I go really in depth. So if you're watching this one, I've already done that, a link should be popping up somewhere for you to click on the next one. But we've already got chords, so I'm gonna do it in melody mode. Okay, so each of the notes that it's given me is in the scale of the G, G flat blue, blues major, basically. That's cool. So you can't really hit a wrong note when you're doing that. You can really jam out with some crazy jazzy stuff if you're in one of those blues scales. So now you know how to use Captain Plugins 4.0, but what if you actually want to build your own chord progressions from scratch? Well, you can download my free four page EDM chord Bible completely free below this video by clicking the link and it's gonna help you build better chord progressions straight away. So let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget to check out my chord progressions video as well. And until next time, cheers and happy producing.